Hey family, it's Brittany Bell with another Power Parent Moment. So I am excited. We have decided to begin incorporating some toy reviews to let our followers know what we think are some really great toy ideas for their kids. Now, as you probably already know, at Power Parent, we are all about toys that both spark creativity and critical thinking. So with that in mind, we came across a toy that, that's pretty new and it was something that we just had to try. So can't wait to tell you all about it. Here we go. Welcome back to our channel. And now while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you will not miss any of our content and you can help us better connect with our parents across the world. So we're getting close to Christmas time and we're on a mission to look for very budget friendly yet thought provoking gifts we can give to our kids and other kids that we know. So all of my search for fun STEM and STEAM games, I ran across the Pixie K mobile game maker and I was quite intrigued as it claims to allow users to draw a game on a sheet of paper and with the use of a tablet, the game will be able to come alive and be played digitally. So I want to take a look and share where the power parent approves of this said game. So without further ado, let's open this baby up. Inside you will find a pack of markers, instruction guide, and three guidebooks. You will definitely need to download the Pixicate app, which is available through iOS, Android, and the Amazon Play Store. So now you download the app and you put in all the necessary information, you are ready to go. So now it's time for the super exciting part. So my son is now getting able to really use the game. He is using his special markers, which are kind of coding markers because this is a game maker. He is using the black um, out of the set of five and the black is considered the color to use for boundaries and space. So any kind of floors he wants to create, any kind of levels to jump on, that's gonna be done in a black marker. The next marker he's using is the purple which is to create anything that is movable in his game. So anything that he wants to move around while he's playing, he would do in a purple color. So these things um, react to gravity and they can fall and move throughout the game. The next color he's going to use is blue. Now, um, the game has different levels and this particular level is get the goal. So the blue signifies the goal. So anything that he needs to get, anything that he needs to collect in order to win the game. So he's drawing these little stars everywhere in order for him to collect, which is great. He's making himself a... Uh, in archive here. The next color he's using is red. Red is to create any hazard. So anything that he cannot touch. And if he does, the game will be over. So in the illustration, they have a sun and they have some, I think some fire down there. So anything that you want to avoid during the game, you need to draw in red. All right, the next color is green, which is the best part because this is when you can create your avatar or your person or thing that you want to move and play with. So it's kind of like your character throughout your game. All right, my son decided to draw a person with a sword, a really long sword, which, you know, had some 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 interesting consequences after me. And now, again, he goes back with the red because he wants to draw a dragon. Of course, because he's a seven-year-old boy, he wants to draw a dragon. He wants to create another hazard for himself because he wants to make sure that it's not too easy. So it is an interesting turn as he begins to play this game. So right now he is done with the drawing and he is now moving on to the point where he is selecting the game, which is get a goal, the level he's on now, the type of game he drew. And he is getting it all together before the next step, which is for him to be able to take a picture of his game. He is currently using the Amazon Fire for kids. Um, you can again use this on tablets or phone as well, as long as you have the Pixie Kate app. But I put it on his tablet. So he now has the game on his tablet, which is super cool. Um, he is now going through it, and obviously he lost. Um he is talking through this and saying, okay, you know, what happened? Oh, why did I, why did I lose the game? Okay. And he's trying again. And he's thinking out loud as this is happening, which is as a parent, 
the coolest thing ever to watch your kid trying to problem solve and figure things out while they're having fun. Um, the celebrating like, yay, I got the goal. Oh no, I lost again. Um, you see that head not there. <laughs> he's a little frustrated. Um, but in a good way because he's trying to figure out exactly what to do with the game that he created himself, which is so awesome to watch his um kind of his mind work, um, his mind work out loud here. And now you see my daughter who was like, I want to have a turn. I want to do this. So needless to say, he lost several times and he's like, okay, I have to make some adjustments, which is the critical thinking part. We love that. We love that he was able to um, make a mistake, analyze what didn't quite go as well, and then get victorious at the end after he made adjustments. Um, After you win the game, you can go into the point where you can share. Sharing costs money. It advertises that you can create friend groups and share your game with the arcade as a whole, but it costs 99 cents and with only with parent consent. Okay, so Power Parents, what did we actually think about the Pixie K mobile game maker? Overall, I would say I'm pretty satisfied so far with this particular product. Um, it has what I'm looking for in a particular toy in regards to it causes the the child to do something and to think something and to create something opposed to be just kind of passive as they are um, being involved and consumed in the game. It allows them to change things, make mistakes, correct mistakes, think about what they may have done wrong, how they want to change things. I love that because the brain is on fire during those moments. So I feel very comfortable, even though my child has a mobile device in their hand some of the time, they're also equally being able to put marker to paper and uh, being able to use those different creativity muscles in their brain. So I am really excited about that. Out of five stars, I would give Pixie Maker four because some of my disclaimers are the fact that sometimes it was glitchy. I do not know if it was because of the Amazon Fire. I don't know if it was because of the app. I don't know, but there was some glitching going on where the app would just stop working and you would have to kind of restart it back up. So that was a negative, especially if you're doing, dealing with, you know, young children, it can get frustrating. In regards to the age range, again, my son is seven and it says ages six plus six up with uh, some help from adults and 10 plus they got it they can handle this by themselves and with my seven year old uh, once he understood exactly how it worked he was good to go he did no longer needed our help doing things of course as he continues to go to book two and book three i'm pretty sure there may be some questions that may have to be answered and some different things that he can explore with our help but for the most part i believe that he got it. Um, so I will I will definitely say four out of five stars. I would recommend this. Um, definitely high rating also because of the price. You really can't beat this at $19.99. I mean, people pay $40, $50 for toys that do half as much. So for what I'm looking for intellectually from a toy, 20 bucks is all right with me. So if you want to try out this Pixicade, a mobile game maker. I have a link below. Go to the link, take you straight to Amazon where you can purchase this particular product. All right, now do it now. If you want it, that is, do it now um, because Christmas is coming. All right, so Santa Claus, I've been hearing about some delays in shipping, so get on it. Get on it right now. So go to the link right now. It's in the description. Go to it, make it happen, and um, help your kid be a future STEM maniac. All right. Well, as always, this is Power Parent. Make sure that you like and subscribe. We would love to give you more comment, um, some more content. Uh, make sure that you comment below. Tell me what you think. Have you had the Pixie Gate? Has you had your own experiences? Let us know what you're looking for in some toy reviews. So we'll be sure to make sure that we give you what you want. All right. As always, love your kids. And remember, smart starts at home. Thank you.